What's up, Lousy? Um, this is a long shot from EXE. Um, and you, I offered to help you out, and you put your play in the forum, so I figured out I could watch replay for you, and see what you did wrong, or see what you did right, which you could have done a little bit better. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna watch this from your point of view, cause see, I, I want to like try to get into your mind and see where how you react and what choices you made, so I can make them like the most educated uh, hints and tips. Um, on how to improve without just saying, oh, you should have had this many units, you know, be able to say, oh, I see why you made that, I see why you made that choice, and then explain to you why. In a situation like that, it might have been the wrong choice. So, starting off, setting a drone against Protoss, don't need a drone scout. Um, your overlord is going to get there in time to see if it's a Forge Fast Expand. If it's a Forge Fast Expand, um, fine just play standard if it isn't um, just grab your natural and don't grab your third and see what he's doing in his base here first overlord this gas is extremely early um, there's no reason to get a gas this early unless you're gonna do a bailing all in which your timing is already well actually bailing all in could can hit after the cannons are done but anything with just links um, like once he starts the cannon if the links aren't already running to his base it's way too late um, you have 100 gas, you have current kind of speed, yeah, there you go. You took them off gas, sorry. You still haven't taken your natural, let me, let me slow this down. You're at 21 supply. If you want to know what is the ideal build in this matchup, is you take your pool at around 14 or 15. I prefer 14. Um, just in case he denies this, I can get Lings out a couple seconds sooner. And then you drop your hatch at 15. Um, see, like, with with the dropping the hatch at 15, your your third should be going down right now. And your natural is just going down now. And maybe I'll show you replay after this and compare it. Um, okay. He's playing around. You stop mining gas, that's good. You should be producing drones right now. Actually, at this moment, you should be taking your third. Because you know he's forged fast expanding. You don't see any units making out of the gateway. You see Cyber Core. So he doesn't have gateway tech yet. And the big thing is you see nothing being chronoed out. You see no, no, nothing building out of here. It's like, why not take a third? Like, even if he was building stuff, you should take a third. There's no reason not to. Um, he's being really defensive. He has two cannons already. And you haven't even committed a links, really. Extremely early Roachborn. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm, um, we'll see in a minute. If, like, depending on what you actually do. But, if you're not, I'm, I'm just letting you know this right now. If you're not planning to do some timing off of this, if you're not planning to go for, like, a Roach Bane all-in against this, this is really bad. This is extremely early. Um, Roachborn, before your third, is, like, Absolutely never what you want to do unless he's playing on one base. Sorry, I had like a hiccup beyond there or whatever. Um, what you usually do is you drone up, yeah, like I said, you 14-15 uh, pool, 15 hatch, just overlord and drone. Well, you make a queen once your pool's done too. Actually, first, the second, first thing, as soon as your pool's done, you make four zerglings, which is two pairs, so... 100, 100 minerals, and then you make, um, as soon as your overlord pops, you make a queen. Then after that, all you do is drone, and you take your third around 4 minutes and 30 seconds. And you, your roach worn isn't going down until 7 minutes. You're, you're not, you, you, you grab both your, both your geysers in your main at the 6 minute mark. You don't grab it at the, I think you grab it at like 3 minutes, that's way too early. This speed is completely a waste. Um, if he's doing any pressure off of this, he doesn't have warp gate tech yet. So, like, let's say he pushes with two zealots, right? If you have four non-speed lings, you know, and like maybe like three drones, you might lose a drone, two drones, and maybe like your lings. But if you kill the zealots, he can't just warp in another two or three zealots. His pressure's done, which means 
and and it's fine for you. You're you're still fine because you didn't commit to something this this kind of early gas. This early gas, you're committing three drones to mining the gas for however however long you do to get the 100 minerals or the speed, 100 gas, and you're also committing the the earlier drone to get the gas. That's four four drones, which is 100, which is 200 minerals, and the geyser, which is 25 minerals. That's that's four drones or 225 minerals. Um, that's a lot of wasted money. Um, okay, well, you already know what's going wrong. At this point in time, at 5 minutes 13 seconds, this base should be up. This base should be done. This base should be building. Um, you should have a spawning pool. Um, this queen should be down here. Because this queen should come out, come out sooner. And a queen should be building in this hatchery right now. And you should probably have more drones now. And maybe like... Uh, maybe like just two less lings. Maybe like four lings is usually the magic number early game, unless they do, unless you see them chronoing um, this first gateway before their cyber core finishes, then you know they're going for like a two or three zealot uh, push against the early game. All right, let's keep going. You still haven't grabbed your third, so it really at this point. Like, the only thing that I could think you'd be doing would be committing to a roach timing, or a roach all-in. That's the only thing that'd be efficient off this kind of opener. Um, this queen should have moved down here long ago and started ejecting. This queen spread creep's not a bad idea. Second gas. Uh, you should be getting a layer now if you're going to go for this timing. You want roach speed. You should be getting a bailing nest. You scout him chronoing. If you if you ever see a Protoss chronoing Cybercore attack, you need to assume that he's gonna do four gate pressure. Which means, even off of a fast expand, a forge fast expand, like this, um, he can still just build forge, gateway, cyber, and then like three gates in his main. And instead of like the usual like ten or eleven minute timing of like the all in or something, he'll push you around. Uh. Eight minutes or so, with a smaller army, but it can do a lot of damage because you can, might not be prepared. Um, so in a situation like this where you see him corner in the cyber core, um, you want to make sure you want to see if he's grabbing his gas because he's grabbing both these geysers. You know he's not doing it. He's probably just bad and just cornering for no reason. If he grabs one, he could still be doing pressure. But mainly, what you want to do is you want to sack the soul lord in around seven minutes, and no matter almost no matter what build he's doing. And it'll tell you what's going on. If you see three gates, you know four gate pressure's coming. I throw up like a spine here. Um, you know, like your third should be done, so I throw up a spine here too. And just make like uh, 10 to 12 lings. And at this point, your roach warren should be 10 seconds in a building. And by the time any pressure came, you could build roaches to defend it. At the at the state you are now, you're really behind in economy. Um, you you got earlier army tech, and earlier speed and a lot earlier gas, which to be honest, I hate to say it, but it's really not getting used very well. Um, you started putting both these guys in gas, or both gas is worth of mining, whatever. All you all you have to show for it is speed. You didn't get the lair at the 100 gas. Um, no other upgrades, well you can't, oh yeah, no, only in Heart of the Swarm can you get Burrow on hatch tech. Um, if you're gonna get this girly gas, you really need to get like a lair, like ASAP, Roach speed ASAP, maybe Banes, and then of course the all in I've talked about. So you've already set yourself up for a kind of uh, an efficient macro game. You're already behind. You you basically you played extremely safe. You you got up a Roach Warren in speed, kind of for no reason almost, just because you don't know what kind of pressure he can do against you. So you're like, oh shit, if he does any pressure, I need to have speed and riches. When in reality, it's better to analyze, actually know what kind of stuff he's doing. You're sacking your overlord. Um, you didn't see anything really. A lot of cannons. Um, you see this gas. You can, well you should never assume, but you can almost assume this gas. I would assume maybe a stargate. But to be honest, it's probably not safe to assume. What I would do is I would sack this overlord at the same time as you sack the overlord down here. And try to, try to see what's going on. If he pushes out, it, 
If he doesn't push out by 10 minutes 50 seconds, or 10 minutes 30 seconds with a with a Phoenix, he's probably not going Stargate. This third is very, very late. Your lair's done, that's good. You're starting upgrades. Believe it or not, the up these upgrades are actually late, rather than the usual opener you would do. Um, your drone count is really low. At this point, you should have, like, 70 drones. And, because... Did you see him go for the fourth? Well, he killed your drone. I think he killed your SC... Or your, your bling, so... You can assume he's going for a fourth, pretty much. Um, Spore. Spore's fine. That's not bad. Just keep joining up in this situation, even though you are still behind. Um, you're making roaches really for no reason. You don't know what he's doing yet. Okay. He's doing, like, the weirdest fucking build. He's doing, like, a... Well, you know he probably threw on his third, so it actually makes sense. There's a, there's a three base timing off of uh, three or four Colossus uh, ranged, and I think 2-2 two, two or something. Um, just gateway Colossus and 2-2. Two, two. That's really good. It's just a three base timing. Um, and it's against the build you opened with, it's extremely efficient. Um, all right. At this point, you need to grab your fourth. Like, you know he grabs his third. It's either you grab your fourth or you die. You need to be up one base. You're already behind an economy. Um, your tech's okay. This spire is actually late. Um, you have no guys in this gas geyser. Uh, your injects are... Your injects aren't that bad. They're okay, I guess. Um, they could be a little bit better, but, I mean... You're in gold league, and they're actually pretty good for gold league. Um, you're making a lot of roaches, and you you sacrificed all map control. You're sitting here just camping in your third when these roaches should be at this unlock a tower. You should have a couple lings here. You should be poking into his third, seeing what's going on. You should be spreading this creep a lot better than you are now. And you have a lot of overlord just sitting around here. These should be spread across the map, around the corners, not necessarily in the middle because you could just snipe them. Um, you still have yet to drone at this base. Like when you take a base, priority one is to drone it. If you can get away with droning it, if he's not attacking you right now, drone your base. Oh, that was a really bad attack, yeah. You don't want to just... What you want to do in this situation is not necessarily engage his army, is you want to try to keep him at home. You want to poke into this in this third, and when he when he comes to deflect this, send in some links to the gnat, if you possibly can, into here. You don't actually want to engage his army up front until you get Brutal Attack out. Um, your hive's... Now, here's here's a huge thing. You're on three base and your hive's almost done. That, that should, like, never happen. In a standard, um, ZVP. Your hive, um, shouldn't finish until your four base saturated. When, like, at this point, you're about to, you're about to go to Broodlords, right? As soon as you hive done, hive's done, I imagine you... Hopefully you cancel this upgrade, because... That will not finish in time at all. Um, you'll start a great aspire. You'll. You're not getting. Ooh. You only want to get plus one. Um, plus one range attack. Unless you're committing to something crazy, like Roach Hydra all in or something, which is weird, which is like a hot build. Um, you want to start getting melee attack and more lings. Um, but yeah, you're, you're going to start making Brew Lords in this, and you're going to start transitioning. The problem is you have a huge window here where he can do some crazy pressure off of 3 base. You have, you're stuck on Roach Ling, which is very inefficient against um, Colossus and any amount of gateway army, pretty much. Um, unless you're like crazy ahead of him, which you're not. You're actually really behind. Um, your upgrades are decent, but not like good enough to turn the tide of the game in your favor. Your saturation's kind of meh. At your, at your, at your natural, it's meh. At your main, it's also meh. And at your third, your third is the only base is actually decently saturated. Um, you want to have, all right, like if you double click or, or if you go over your mineral line, you want to have like like pretty much this. This is perfect. Maybe maybe one more. This is 16 drones, 17, 18. If there's one here, you would have 18 drones, and 18 is actually perfect saturation, because um, there is like a really small amount of time 
where uh, two drones actually don't optimally mine a mineral node, so two extra drones helps. Um, yeah, so you're a little undersaturated. You have at the moment 65 drones. It should be into the well. It should be well into the 70s count. Actually, at this point, it should be in the 80s because you should have this base. Um, basically, the play style you're doing off this is you're playing scared. I can I can easily tell this. You're not poking very well or very much at all. You're getting units a lot sooner than you need to without scouting. Like he could have built two colossus and then built like three stargates. You have absolutely no idea. Um, you have no idea that these two colossus are coming out. He could have a fleet beacon, have a mothership coming out, and well, actually, you'd just be really behind. You can't really do anything about that. Basically, what I'm saying is, you, you need to scout. You scouted the one time this entire game. You need to invest in like overlord speed. Overlord speed is amazing. Always get overlord speed um, at like the 10 minute mark, unless you're doing it all, and then you can use the money to defend, of course. And overlord spread, of course, could be a lot better. All right. Um. You got corruptors out. Okay, you killed his third. I don't know how many drones you killed. Uh, you killed a decent amount. The problem is, is you have no follow-up after this. Like, okay, I can make make more roachling. Um, that's the terrible against the army he has right now. He has how many colossus? He has five colossus right now. Fifteen soccers and seven sentries. That's ridiculous. I mean, even if he's behind in upgrades, the sheer utility of that makes it extremely good versus what you have. Um, this amount of corruptors is nowhere near enough to actually defeat that army in this straight up fight. You need to get Brewlords in this situation. If you had this, this fourth up, this fourth should be done around like the 13 minute mark, maybe maybe 14 minutes, and saturated. If you had creep over here, drop like, look at you floating 20, 2400. If you did the opening I talked about, you'd be floating 4k. Um, bunch of spines across here, maybe like 8 or 9 spine crawlers over here. And when he does push into you, you'll have the time, you'll have the spine crawlers to buy time for your Brewlords to finish morphing, which I don't think you're morphing. Ah, this is terrible. You should definitely have canceled this. This is absolutely not worth the time lost here. Um, usually what you'll find in a situation like this, like, just, it, timing is a lot more important usually than upgrades, um, I find, like, if I am playing Terran and I'm going for a uh, a two base uh, 50 Marine stem combat shield medevac timing against a one rack FE um, Terran who went like Starport 101, and, and you probably don't really know what a whole about, whole lot about those builds, but pretty much if I like let's say I, let's say I I forget to make stem for 30 seconds, I find that it's more beneficial to hit at the 10 minute timing than it is to wait another 30 seconds for stem. Just because it's so important to hit at the timings because that's when like key units come out like siege tanks. That's when um key upgrades of theirs finish. And like for instance in this situation you're giving him by 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 doing this you're giving him um, a timing window before Brewlord tech that's much larger than it should be. Your greater spire should be be half done. Your actually greater spire should be done at this point. Um, all this time wasted is actually really inefficient. Um, if if you had a spine crawler wall, these things would be morphing, and you might be able to hold this. You'd have a lot more gas if you took this fourth three minutes earlier, and this and this natural like four minutes earlier than you did. Building a lot of roaches, which is actually extremely bad versus his army, which is a lot of um. Colossus. He has a huge army. Pretty much, when you see this, if if you see that army that you saw right there, and you have this, uh, unless he's retarded and like move commands his army into your base, you pretty much already lost. Um, unless you're like three three on everything and he's like one one, maybe maybe you have a chance. You absolutely need brood lords against an army that size, or you need. Amazing fungal growths with great infested Terran control and spam, and a good flank. But if you're not, if you don't have all that, if you're just gonna like attack him when he's up here with all this stuff, you're gonna totally get wrecked. 
um, just by the sheer utility of sentries and colossus against a ground army. Once the uh, Protoss gets to that kind of army you saw there, having a ground army against this is suicide. Two minutes ago, these roaches should have been like sacked, trying to re-kill his third or push into his natural while these brood lords were, were morphing. While all these corruptors were sitting over ten spine crawlers right here, um, morphing into brood lords. And that would have given him a very small window to push. Um, what you did by delaying your Broodlord tech is means that when he pushes now, he's probably going to win. Yeah, he's probably going to win. He, would, he probably does win. Um, and you're still stuck on Tier 2. Roach, uh, Roach Corruptor. Which is really bad in the situation. You notice he doesn't even need armor upgrades because he has the Guardian Shield and Force Fields. It's all about the damage he does. His, 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 his army does so much damage. You lost your fourth, and that's a lot of gas potential gone. All your roaches are dying. Yeah. Pretty much, you 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 actually you set yourself up for failure in this game. I I noticed you said you were focusing on mechanics, but in all honesty, um, you're gonna find you're gonna have a lot harder time. It, like you could have diamond skills and do this build. And you'll probably stay in like platinum or high gold, because what you're doing right now is you're setting yourself up for failure against builds like this. What he, this guy did. You're um. You're. Let's go back to the. Let's see. Let's go back to the eight minute mark, and I'll show you what I'll explain to you what you should have the eight minute mark. If I can get there, okay. Here we go. Because eight minute mark is actually an extremely important timing. All right. Cool. Alright, here is the benchmark you want to hit in ZVP. This is the most important benchmark. This is like, this This will turn the tide of the game depending on how well you execute this. And I'm telling you, this is pretty much just getting up your fast three bases and getting up your drones. At the, th at the eight minute mark, on the dot, you want to look at your supply and ask yourself, oh great, cool, a Pandora commercial, nice. You want to see, how much supply do I have? 43 is extremely low for what you should have right now. You should have around 70 supply worth of drones and queens. No more than like three, maybe four queens, one to spread creep. Um, and maybe like four, four zerglings to go around scouting. But at this point you have 20 less drones than you should have. Um, you have uh, maybe one less queen you should have. Actually you should have more than 20 drones. You should have maybe like 25 more drones. Um, maybe even 60 at this point. Um, 55 is a healthy number. And you you built no drones because you didn't take this this early this this faster third. I I don't. I'm sure you see this in a lot of pro games. You probably see people taking fast thirds, and you probably ask yourself, how the hell do they hold that? It's not like you don't don't think of it in the sense of, I have nothing to hold it if he did something versus me. Think of it in the sense of what could he do versus me doing what build is he what build he's doing. When he does a forge fast expand, I want you to look at this. Look at his look at his gateway. Um his his warp gate research. At the eight minute mark, granted his his is a little bit slow, I think. He built way too many cannons before his cyber core. Um it should be finishing about now, maybe eight minutes thirty seconds. And that means that he can't warp in any units until 8 minutes 30 seconds. Now, like I said, if, if at 8 minutes, imagine you had all the minerals saturated here, minerals and gas saturated here, minerals and gas saturated here, queen injecting, queen injecting, queen injecting, roach worn done, which you throw a roach worn down at 7 minutes, evo chamber down at 7 minutes. These would both be finishing right about now. And you would have gotten the gas at 6 minutes here. In seven minutes here, I'll, I'll I'll give you the build order later. I know it might be confusing you a bit. What I'm trying to say is that rather than build, rather than being safe, so you can build drones, think of it in the sense of building drones to be safe. You have to you have to take advantage of this um, against a forge fast expand. You can't you can't do what you did. You can't just play safe, saying I'm just gonna um, I'm just I'm just gonna not lose. You have to think. I want to win. I need to like get ahead. I need to be ahead. I need to 
have an advantage in this game and to do that off of, uh, off of this kind of build you need to take a fast third and drone um, I might play a game now against the computers to show you what kind of opener I'm talking about and pause it at the 8 minute mark and show you what I have or actually you know what I'll do I'll play a game and I'll um, watch the replay um, after I play it and uh, I'll show you what I was talking about Alright, hopefully I helped out a bit. I know I went all over the place, jumped around everything. There's just like so many things you can improve on to be a better player. Your injects are actually pretty decent. They're pretty good. I think I got into platinum with worse injects than these. Um, it's just that your, your, your timings are all off. You're playing so damn safe when you should be taking advantage of this. Basically, I think you just don't know what he's doing. Like if you knew what a forge fast expand, actually how it worked. I don't think he would have gone for that fast get that, that that fast gas, the fast speed, early roaches, early watch this really early range attack this is actually kinda late. Um Yeah. Um I'll show you in a game I play after this. Alright. Peace.